All right, guys, so Apple has now officially released iOS 26 Developer Beta 3 as previously anticipated. Apple is now on a two weeks release schedule. And this beta was actually a very large file size. This one was nearly nine gigs. I was actually quite surprised to see that this beta coming from beta two to beta three, we have basically an entire operating system. I thought to myself, Apple must have either changed a lot or redesign the entire OS. And that's basically what they did here. We'll talk about liquid glass because at this point, Apple has removed a lot of the liquid glass from iOS 26. We'll talk about those details here in just a couple of minutes. Again, Apple released iOS 26 developer beta three, but also released all the other updates for iPad, the Mac, the Vision Pro, the Apple Watch. So all the betas in form of beta three are now available as of today. For some reason, Apple has yet to release the third beta for the HomePods. I'll keep you guys posted in the comments down below. Now, again, we have liquid glass within iOS 26 beta three, which basically has disappeared for the most part. And it's kind of interesting to see. So we'll talk about some of the new features first, and then we'll talk about some of the new redesign to liquid glass. Now I have two iPhones sitting right here on the left i have the iphone 15 pro max running beta 2 and i have the iphone 16 pro max here on the right running beta 3 just for comparison and the first thing i want to talk about is three new color wallpaper variants available for the standard ios 26 wallpaper yes apple added three new colors or actually six i guess if you count the light mode variants of those wallpapers. So let's go under customize here and you can see that if I swipe to the left, the first one is called shadow. Now shadow is a purplish blue dark mode wallpaper and a variant, a new color variant for the standard iOS 26 wallpaper, which is obviously not available in beta two. If we swipe to the right, we have sky, which is the standard color that shipped with iOS 26, which is green and blue, as you can see right there. We also have halo. Now halo is sort of a pink and purple color combination combination as you can see right there it looks very nice and last but not least we also have dusk now dusk is sort of a light blue and light purple combination now a lot of times when we get new iphone colors sometimes the wallpapers will match so could this be a reference to the new iphone colors coming this year We'll have to wait and see. Now you can pick these new colors also from the picker directly, as you can see right here in beta three, we have the three new additional options aside from the standard colors that we had initially for the iOS 26 wallpaper. Now, as I mentioned, there's also a light mode version of these wallpapers. So if we go into light mode here and we swipe to the right, you see here we have the shadow, we have sky, halo and we also have dusk so yeah so you have about six new different color variants available within ios 26 right there for the stock ios 26 wallpaper now as i mentioned there's a lot of refinements happening here alongside a lot of the changes happening to liquid glass as well so let's talk about some of the refinements and then we'll talk about liquid glass so jumping into the photos application let's say you want to go ahead and share an image if you tap on the share icon right here you see that the share sheet right here looks different so let's go into dark mode hopefully you will see that better under dark mode take a look right there the share sheet has been pushed up the icons are a little smaller compacted pushed up a little bit it just looks a lot better ready to go refined i was expecting a lot of this to happen within the third beta as we quickly approach the release of the first public beta as well we'll talk about those release date here shortly now if we go under customizing here if we go to customize the home screen there's also some changes happening here again a lot of refinement so the os feels a lot smoother that's for one and you can see right here the icons actually match so we have a default light now we have dark mode icon that actually matches dark mode as you can see right here in beta 2 it was still a light icon instead of dark as it is here in beta 3 so a lot of refinements across the board the operating system even control center i have to say there's a lot of refinements within the icons in the toggles and even more contrast even more so than in beta 2. And that brings me to the last topic that I wanted to talk about in today's video, which is liquid glass. The redesign that's coming to the iPhone is basically now, I guess you can say frosted glass is almost gone in most cases. Let's talk about the changes happening here to liquid glass in beta three. So again, beta two on the left and beta three on the right. So let me go into the Apple Music application. You can see a lot of the liquid glass refinements happening here. So you see here the menus on the bottom. If I tap on the different tabs, 
right away you see a lot of the new contrast where you can actually see the toggles. In beta 2, you see right behind the toggles there with the liquid glass, something not happening here in beta 3. Now, the colors do morph depending on the color of the background, which is kind of cool, but there isn't as much liquid glass as there was before. Now, you can also see this within Safari, for example. You see here right below here, you see Safari. If you take a look behind that liquid glass, you can see a lot of the colors in this second beta, but on the third beta, you can barely see the colors behind the liquid glass and even in control center now control center has even more contrast than before with beta 1 it was all liquid glass in beta 2 we added some contrast in beta 3 it had even more contrast as you can see right there even the colors of the toggles that are active are a little different as well and even with the keyboard and the search bars you see here a lot more contrast overall everywhere so at this point apple basically redid the entire liquid glass in a beta 3 there's still some liquid glass for example you see here the folders so let's go into dark mode here you see that in the folders you see right there if i swipe you see liquid glass here you still see it as well it just depends on what the color of the background is so notifications you'll be able to see a lot better with more contrast control center etc but if you have sort of like a dark background then that's when you really start seeing the liquid glass show in iOS 26 developer beta 3. Now there is a public beta coming soon so that brings me to the final topic. So in terms of release dates moving forward this is where things get a little bit tricky as Apple is anticipated to release the first public beta here shortly. So the first public beta will most likely release within a week or so. I'm anticipating the first public beta to release sometime later this week or perhaps next Monday the 14th. That would be the first public beta where everyone can actually try the software before it is released officially to the public in September. Now with the first public beta, we usually get a re-release of the third developer beta to make the build numbers match and then continue on a two weeks release schedule moving forward. So next week we get a re-release and the first public beta and then moving forward after that two weeks until perhaps late August, then it will shift to a weekly release schedule. So yeah, kind of tricky here because of the first public beta quickly approaching, but yeah, there you guys have it. I'll continue digging around the software. The third beta is officially here for developers. If I find anything additionally that's new, of course, I'll be sure to follow up with you guys on another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.